In video one, we talked about why vision is so important and introduced you to the concept of upper and lower room thinking. In this video, we want to present to you some of the preliminary work we did to help us craft our vision frame. The first thing we did was to identify what we called pumpkin jars. Now, a pumpkin jar is a limiting factor that would keep us from reaching our full potential as a church. All right, to show you what I mean, let me tell you a story. There once was a pumpkin farmer who was strolling through his rows of beautiful green leaves. At the beginning of the season, the acorn-sized pumpkins were beginning to add dots to the landscape. When he glanced down, he noticed a clear glass jar and curiosity got the best of him. He brought the jar over to one of his pumpkin buds, slipped the small pumpkin inside, and left it sitting there in the field. Months later, with the experiment long forgotten, the farmer walked his land with great satisfaction as large, beautiful pumpkins covered the patch. Startled, he noticed the glass jar totally intact, yet completely filled with that little pumpkin that grew inside. It was hard not to notice how the thick glass barrier defined the shape of the orange mass within. The pumpkin was only one-third the size it should have been. The problem for this little pumpkin is the same problem for most churches today. Rather than growing to their full potential based on their unique DNA, they conform to the shape of the external molds or models that were put in. These glass jars um, are, create invisible barriers for growth and predetermined the shape of com the community for churches across the country. Our first step in reaching that upper room vision is to break the pumpkin jars that keep us from discovering our unique DNA as a church. The next step we took was to identify what we call our kingdom concept. With the kingdom concept, we tried to answer the question, what can our church do better than 10,000 other churches? In order to answer that question, we researched three key areas. Our local predicament, what is unique about where God has placed us? Our collective potential, what is unique about the people and resources God has given us? And our passionate focus, what energizes and animates us as a church family? These two exercises gave us the background needed to begin building our vision frame. 